narcissistic people like to play so many mind games with those around them usually because the narcissist themselves is paranoid that people are turning against them so they're seeking to regain control of a situation they're seeking for people to comply with the narcissist demands however the narcissist more often than not doesn't even know what those demands are or doesn't want to admit to the fact that they want control they want people to comply they want people to fawn to how the narcissist wants those people to behave and they're going to put you in a situation where you are damned if you do and damned if you don't you are going to be blamed if you don't do something and you're going to be in the wrong if you do do something where no matter what choice you make there is going to be some form of negative consequences to either you or those around you and narcissists use many different manipulation tactics to do this to confuse you to get you in a state of hypervigilance to get you overthinking things ruminating at things questioning what you can do for the best when it comes to narcissistic people it can be something as simple as when you have to take something seriously yet a narcissist will set it up to offend you in some way so that you react in a serious manner and then they're going to turn around to you and accuse you of taking everything so seriously why do you have to be so serious i'm only messing around i'm only joking so you feel shamed into being serious you feel shamed for your own personal beliefs your own personal values for creating your own personal boundaries yet when you find something funny and they're not in the mood they're going to accuse you of never taking things seriously so you don't know at what point you can be serious and at what point you can be playful because at whatever point you're serious you're wrong whatever point you're playful you are made to feel like you are in the wrong a narcissist will ask you to not allow them to do something to step in and not allow them to do something yet when you step in and explain that they ask you to not allow them to do something they're going to accuse you of being the controlling one yet if you don't step in they're going to accuse you of not doing what they asked you to do a narcissist will have a birthday celebration coming up and they will go on and on and on about how they do not want to fuss don't make a fuss of me i don't need it no no let's just let it go by and then when you don't make a fuss they're going to sit and sulk that you did not make a fuss even though they asked you not to make a fuss yet if you do make a fuss they might lap up the attention at the moment that they're getting from everybody because you've made a fuss of them but as soon as everyone's gone and the attention for themselves is depleted they're going to turn around and have a go at you for making a fuss what did you do that for you knew i didn't want anything why have you done that when no matter what you choose they're going to blame you and they're going to make you feel like you are the one in the wrong a narcissist is going to accuse you of something and if you don't respond they're going to take that as evidence that they are right if you deny the accusation they're going to take that as evidence that they are right no matter what you do to a narcissist they are right and you are in the wrong they will unjustly accuse you of something you have not done of intentions you do not have of feelings you do not have to get you to defend yourself to them to get you to deny it to them to draw you into that conflict to draw you into their game so that they can twist it and turn it to gain that attention and gain that control over you yet if you do not respond a narcissist is going to write this in their own mind that that's a confession that what they've accused you of is true you are not going to win with them we have to recognize that 
if we deny we're just getting drawn into that conflict and there's no point because we're going to feel worse if we ignore the accusation then they're going to think what they want to think anyway but we're not getting drawn into that battleground of a lose-lose situation for ourselves when it comes to dealing with a narcissist if you try to communicate with them you're going to lose. If you try to defend yourself with, to them, you're going to lose. If you try to agree with them, you're going to lose. If you try to change who you are to suit them, you're going to lose. A narcissist is all out in getting you dragged into their drama that they've already created for themselves to win which is why sometimes we need to make a swift exit and leave them to it. Other times we need to slowly cut ourselves off from them to avoid those negative reactions from them. Another way a narcissist will get to you is they will accuse you, they will set you up in some way and then they will accuse you of lying to them those false accusations. So if they love something about you when you first met them, if they love the fact that you enjoyed going to the gym, they're going to really admire that quality within you. Yet they're going to accuse you of cheating on them when you go to the gym. So if you tell the truth and explain that you're not, they're going to take you into that circular argument. Whereas if you, you just agree with them and say, yes, I, I must be doing that, they're then going to go all vulnerable and expect attention, sympathetic attention. A narcissist is going to get you into a situation where they accuse you of lying to them. And if you tell the truth and defend and explain yourself to them, they're going to take offence to this. They're going to twist it and turn it any way they can to continue to accuse you of lying to them. If you fawn and just agree to them and admit to lying when you're not actually lying, they're going to take this as a confession and they're going to use it against you for their advantage, for their gains over you. Some narcissistic people will take it one step further, that abuse by proxy, either by a smear campaign to turn people against you, or they're going to threaten and intimidate and hurt those you care about in some of the most horrifying ways, yet they're going to threaten you in some way so that they can provoke a negative emotion within you to try and get that negative reaction from you because of the threat if you were to respond in some way so if you stand back and do nothing you feel like you're enabling their behavior if you challenge them if you react they're going to blame you for their next attack narcissistic people do this a lot with their own children they don't care for the damage they cause to their children's minds because they blame that on you they're going to use the children to guilt trip you into doing things that you don't want to do yet if you don't do those things they're going to punish the children to get at you to hurt you to get you to react to them so that they can blame you. A narcissist will take it too far with their own children that the other parent might stop contact for those children, which is a very difficult choice to make. And then the narcissist is going to play the parental alienation card and fall on to being the victim for problems that they created. They're going to start a mass smear campaign about how you're the one that's in the wrong so that the narcissist themselves can remain in the right. Narcissistic people go out to try and force your hand into conforming to their behaviour and they will stoop as low as to use innocent people to get you to fawn to the narcissist's behaviour in order to protect the innocent ones. However, once they know they've got you in this way, they will continue to use people in this way. One of the best approaches to deal with a narcissist and their double binds where you are damned if you do and damned if you don't 
is to go no contact. Sometimes it needs to be rapid, no contact. Other times you need to take it slow, slowly step away from them because they will escalate their gains towards you. As horrifying as it can be, sometimes we have to just wait for them to slip up for them to reveal their true identity, for them to reveal their true selves so that other people can see what they are actually doing. As usually the more we try to defend ourselves, the more a narcissist has set it up for us to fail. Narcissists do all they can to confuse your thinking so that you end up emotionally reacting to them. We have to create that distance so we have a clear mind to know whether to respond or whether the sensible thing to do, as hard as it can be, is to leave it be, to step out of the picture, to step away from the games. Some narcissistic people will use this as an excuse to escalate to gain that reaction from you. But there is no settling anything with a narcissist. It's their paranoia, it's their need for power, it's their need for control. They fear someone's going against them, so they're going to go all out to place that fear in others to regain control of those the narcissist thought was going against them. Don't argue with a narcissist. They are either going to blame you or they're going to shame you, they're going to make out in some way how you are wrong to get you to defend yourself, deny, explain yourself to them. Do not deny, defend or explain yourself to them. Often you're playing straight into a trap of a game they've already set up to watch you fail. They want to sabotage you, they want you to fail. They want you to explain yourself to them so that they can use those very explanations against you to hurt you. Don't show any emotion. Once they know they've got you in your feels, they know exactly what feelings to use against you to get their needs met by you, to get their own way with you. Recognise that it's, it's not you, it's them, it's who they are as a person. And sometimes you cannot run in there to rescue everybody because... By doing that, a narcissist will hurt more people. Yes, it'd be lovely to go in and just make everything okay for everybody. However, it can make it far worse for far more people because there is no limitations to the destruction a narcissistic person will cause. You have to wait for the right time and patience is a very difficult thing to have when somebody is hurting those you care for. Stand in your own truth at all costs. Stand in your own truth because a narcissist is going to twist it, turn it any way they can to get you feeling like you're awkward, you're selfish, you're being cruel, you're not doing enough. They're going to get you in that place where you feel like what you're doing that is right for you is in somehow wrong so that you change who you are, you change your approach to suit them, which they're also going to make out that you are in the wrong, which is why for your own sanity, you are best off standing in your own truth and riding out the storm. And some of these storms can be very, very cruel, very calculated, very hideous. So you need to focus on doing things that lift your mood, lift your spirit, help you out, serve your best interests. Self-care is not selfish. It's fundamental to our own mental state of mind, to our own happiness, to our own health. A narcissist wants you to think you're selfish so that you give up on who you are to serve who they are. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments. If you are looking for further support and help understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to or have partnered with, BetterHelp and their sponsored help is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.